Hi, my name's Joanne and I run the Instagram account Hard Hustle Towers. So I live in this house um, with my three daughters and my husband. We've lived here for 20 years. Um, it's our second house. We've, we had a little house before this. Um, and I'm a foster carer, full-time foster carer. So my interior style is um, quite individual and eclectic. I'm like a magpie. I love pretty things. I love kitsch. I love sparkly things. I love a bit of scandy. Um, and I just put it all together. I have to have everything on show all the time because I, there's no point in hiding anything away. I get inspiration from all over, but when I'm decorating, it usually starts from a single point. So in this room, it was the plates over there. Um, I already had the purple chaise long and I saw the plate in a junk shop, purple and green together, and I knew that I wanted a green room. So we had the green paint then mixed to match the plate. Right, so when we first moved in, um, it was a house, it was shared accommodation, so it was very much like student accommodation. There were about eight young men living here, and it was disgusting. Um, this bedroom was absolutely full of graffiti. Um, you could still see some of the gloss paint on the ceiling where it was flicked up, there were symbols behind the bed. Um, in fact, when we moved in, the removal men like, all came and stood in this room and were shocked. Um, yeah, it was disgusting. There was not really any rooms which were livable, but it was the cheapest house on the best street, so it's all we could afford. So let me think, so what should renovation, any renovation start with? Um, you need to trust your own style, so you need to know what your style is and not be swayed by fashions and trends. Um, and it's got to be practical, it's got to be a space that you want to live in. So it's got to be able to, It's not. A, this house is not a show house. I've got lots of lovely things but we live in it and we use everything, we don't save anything for the best. So it's got to be practical and it's got to suit um, what you need out of it as a family. So the first room we renovated, we moved in here, um, we had a 12 month old baby and it was absolutely awful, the house. Um, this room was where all the young men lived. There would be beer bottles lined up all around the walls, it was stained with nicotine, can't even remember what's on the floor. And we had a week before her first birthday, so we knew we needed to get one space livable. Um, and we just we did it really quickly. Cheap carpet, we painted it, we washed the walls. We thought they were yellow, but they were peach, it was disgusting. Um, and we painted them, it was quite a pale colour at that time, it was into Scandi when we first saw it, so it was quite a pale blue. Um, but yeah, we had a space there, we had a space where we could um, be safe with the baby and move on to the rest of the house. This is my favourite room, if you can call it a room. We've just finished doing it, it, was, it took us so long to do it. Um, and it was the last room in the house that we've done. So it got quite dirty over the years. I knew I wanted something dark. I thought well, I wanted black and white at first, but we worked, I, worked, I collaborated with a brand and they helped me choose this beautiful um, brown colour, which I would never have chosen. So it's brown and pink. We have the Lincruster um, restored, I've got a new radiator, but my favourite bit has got to be the stairs. When we painted the stairs brown, it was such a dark space, I decided I wanted to stencil on the back of the stairs, but I've not got the patience, so I've got to leave them all, and I just see it all day now. Um, and my husband's an engineer, he always has to have a final say, and he commissioned um, this lattice to be made out of copper piping. Yeah. There were lots of single young men renting rooms here, and this was actually a bedroom. Um, it was horrible. There was no fireplace, there was a hole in this wall um, and he was burning things in it. We had a sheet nailed up at the wall and a mattress on the floor, so you can understand we probably had an awful lot to do in here. Um, and we just took it, took the colours from the plate and from the furniture we already had. Um, about ten years ago we were in bed and we had a really big bang and the ceiling had fallen down so that was fun so we had to get the ceiling repaired it's very dusty everywhere um, but yeah it's just evolved evolved from there the fireplace um, it's an Edwardian building and the periods of houses around here are Victorian so it's really difficult to find original Edwardian pieces to put back in and we could see the footprint of this fireplace and we actually found this um, 
it was in the train station in Nairsborough and it was from an old school, an old school, but it fitted the space perfectly. So our proudest renovation moment was probably building this extension. Um, we had a little kitchen that was just in this area before and I love cooking. Um, I always have everybody here I'm cooking for Christmas dinner and I've cooked for like 70 people in this tiny space before um, and I wanted a bigger space. I knew I wanted a pink fridge. The whole kitchen and extension was designed around the pink fridge. Um, we didn't think we had much space to extend but we extended out to where we kept the dustbins and it's made a massive, massive um, difference. We use it all the time. We obviously we use it every day now. So my main tip when you're renovating is to go with your gut and if you want something, don't cut corners. You've got to go for that thing that you want, that expensive thing, save up for it because if you don't, you'll always regret it and you'll always want to go back and you'll probably do it again later. So always just go with your gut and go with what you really believe in. My renovation advice would be, got it now, don't rush it. Don't think you've got to do it all at once. We've lived here for 20 years and we've done it really slowly and because it's, we've done it really slowly the house has evolved and it's got a more organic feel if we'd have come in and done it all in the first 12 months it wouldn't have looked like this and we wouldn't have had the money to do it properly how we wanted to do it so don't rush it